Okay, so let us try to find or evaluate and plot the even and parts of the following signals. So these questions have been adapted from signals and systems by Oppenheim and Wilski. So let us try to solve few of them and then move on to other part of the lecture. Okay, so so we will try to evaluate the first question. So if you look at the signal x1 of n, so how does the plot of this guy look? So if you try to plot that signal, it will look something like this. So we are solving the question A. Okay. So u of n minus u of n minus 1. So how does that look? The corresponding signal will exist only up to 3. So this is our signal 0. It will exist only from 0 to 3 the amplitude. One. So this is our x1 of n. So what is x even even part of the signal? So even part of the signal is evaluated as we have already seen the equation. So what is x e1 of n? So that will be equal to x1 of n plus x1 of minus n by 2. And similarly, odd part of the signal will be x o 1 of n will be equal to x 1 of n minus x 1 of minus n by 2. So obviously, to evaluate these two signals, you require x 1 of minus n. So what is x 1 of minus n? x 1 of minus n is nothing but the flipped version of your signal x 1 of n. So how does that look? So it will start at minus 3 and then minus 2 and then minus 1 and at 0. So this amplitude will be 1 and what is the name of this guy? x1 of minus. So what is that we want? So to find the even part you have to subtract x1 of minus. Sorry. You have to add the e x1 of minus n to x1 of n. So how does that look? So I am plotting the even part of the signal. So if you look at that signal, how does that look? Okay, so if you add these two guys, so this signal will start at minus 3 and then at minus 2 and then at minus 1 and at 0 what is happening? Here this fellow is 1 and this fellow is 1. If you add those two guys, what will I get? So we will get 2 and after 0 it is 1, 2, and 3 so this is 1 2 and look at the amplitude what happens if you add this will be 2 and but because we are dividing the whole signal by 2 so what will happen this amplitude will be 1 and these amplitudes will be half so this is the even part of the signal so if you look at this signal you can easily say that the signal is even so obviously this should be even part of the signal similarly if you want to plot the odd part so what is that you have to do you have to subtract x1 of minus n from x1 of n so if you try to plot that how does that look okay so so this fellow is what so even part of the signal now we are plotting odd part of the signal so what will I get x1 of n minus this so obviously we subtract this what will I get and you have to divide by 2 so obviously at minus 3 you will have like this at minus 2 at minus 1 at origin what happens so 1 minus 1 will be 0 and again beyond 1 this will be 1 1 1 and again because you are dividing by 2 what will happen so this amplitude will be half and this amplitude will be minus half so so this is odd part of the signal x1 of n and this is the even part of the signal x1 of n okay so next let us 